causes a little suspicion when people with cameras are kind of wandering around. So I want to help point you in the right direction if there was something you were looking for. Or no, I just, like I said, just came out to get some footage, see, just see how the facilities are kept up and everything. We don't intend any harm or any ill will or anything. So. Thanks for joining News Now Northwest here at the Washington State Patrol Eastern Region Headquarters. Uh, we're out here today with human error. Uh, so we're here at the road to the entrance. I don't see any signs. Let's see what we got here. Gas pipeline sign. There we go. City of Spokane. Sign inside saying no trespassing. Sheriff's Department. Sheriff's Communications Tower. Oh, so we got a vehicle inspections and a Washington State Patrol entrance. Oh yeah, that's really cool, wouldn't mind that to commute to work. <laughs> so now according to the RCW on the unmarked cars, the only department in the RCW that's allowed to have unmarked vehicles are State Patrol, unless it's like a special investigation or undercover, you know, detective, something like that. Yeah, but I heard that. Oh, yeah. Nothing on it. I heard that the uh, sheriff, the other bitch of Rivers, they just got like yeah. full permission from city council. So, yeah, that's, that's a story I'm working on, but I'll forward you the article on that. Yeah. He basically just mirrored the exact same law said, oh, we're trying to do this to make, make better for clarification, and then he stated exactly what the law is, like, we're only going to use it, he made it so, like, sergeants, the upper administration will be able to be an unmarked, and he's like, oh yeah, we're not going to use it for patrol, it's not meant for that. Like I was saying, every Friday, if you go downtown, there's more unmarked cars patrolling down there than there are marked. <laughs> you, you saw the one in the Spokane Cox parking lot that I found had no markings at all. That's what yeah, yeah. Just said police and uh, intercessor. You know that if uh, they pull you over on the highway and they don't have a canine unit with them, uh, they don't have any... Uh, they don't have any right to hold you there until they can get a canine unit out of the scene. Oh, really? They right to refuse the search of the canine. Uh, because it takes longer than about 15 minutes. Yeah, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's good there. The Supreme Court will end, too. Alright, so I see. We'll see if anything saying you can't come back here. Oh, uh, this is like a government employee who's getting free gas when we're done. For his car. This is, uh, looks like one of them. And yet some some police cars are saying employees here. only. I'm gonna pull in there, man. Huh? I'm gonna pull in there. It doesn't say employees only here, man. Yeah, that is. Pull in here and get a car wash tonight, man. Look at this. Free car wash. Right. Oh, for a use on official vehicles only, man. Sure that I'm sure that happens. 
Right? Right? <laughs> how you doing? Hey Dan, how you doing? No, we just came out to check out the facility. So, just checking out, see what our tax dollars are paying for. Yeah. How about you? You enjoying the day? Absolutely. They send you out so you can enjoy the sun, or did you just say, I'll go say hi to them? I don't know. <laughs> Kind of cool. causes a little suspicion when people with cameras are kind of wandering around. So I wanted to help point you in the right direction if there was something you were looking for. Or... No, I just like I said, just came out to get some footage, see just see how the facilities are kept up and everything. We don't intend any harm or any ill will or anything. So you with the media or local? Just citizens. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, so you're exercising our First Amendment rights and enjoying the weather. Nice day to do it, right? Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I mean, is there anywhere I see like right there it says employee entrance only? I mean, is there anywhere specifically that is marked or is a marked that we can't go or anything like that? I mean, just kind of like I said, just trying to check out what our tax dollars pay for. So I don't want to step on anyone's toes, but well, again, you're, you're welcome to be out here. Yeah. This gentleman may be able to answer a little more specific hey specific yeah. questions for you. Right. But. So all we ask is you don't be in a restricted area. You can be in the public areas, which right. is the front of the building. Right. Okay, this is actually a confidential inspection okay. building, so we don't really want you know that that much film down there. So okay. you can be in the public areas. You just can't be in the restricted areas, okay. such as that parking lot. You can film all you want, though. So yeah. it's cool, a beautiful day to be out here filming. It yeah. is. Yeah. So I was just saying, probably more of you guys are gonna come out so you can enjoy the day, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'll go check out. I'm like going to go outside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go outside. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. So, so, so cool. And the, and the only other thing is, is the, the tower and stuff, and and they just, you know. Well, I mean, film film I, from a from afar. Just well, obviously I mean, I you can't a, get in there because there's a fence. Well, so. yeah, but I mean, from here, obviously, <laughs> it's public view, right? Yeah, okay. absolutely. Just making yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah, no, we're, okay. I, we don't have a problem with you guys. Perfect. Film back here. Just, just stay in, the, like I said, the public area. So. All right. That's that's the only restricted area, right through there. So, the but but the the right. ground that you're making is fine. The, uh, so the, go ahead. The entrance to the state police department, the public parking lot, that's fine. Just not. Like over on the other right. side. The, of there? the front is the front of the building. The public. Oh, okay. This okay. this is all uh, for all employees and everything. Okay. So. okay. Sure. Cool. All right. Can I just get you to state your name for the record, sir? Uh, my name's Sergeant Greg Riddell. Thank you. So it's cool. Thank you guys for your. All right, guys. Take care. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you bet, appreciate man. it. All right. Have a great day. Thanks, you too, all right. Sir. Take care. You bet. Hey, I gotta give you guys something real quick. Part of this is what we do. It's a little bit of an audit of our government. Yeah. Make sure you guys respect our rights. So oh, this perfect. Is our YouTube channel. That's mine. He's got one himself. Okay. Yeah. Um, but check it out. You guys did a good job. Awesome. We Thanks. Totally appreciate you guys. It. You guys okay. have a good day. You All too. right. Take care. <laughs> I was like, dude, I already filmed it, man. <laughs> I got a good shot. Six inch time clean from the street. Right? Sight alone. Prior to entry, it's not. Oh, here we got the front entrance here. We got the flags. Washington State Patrol. Shall I go in? Yeah, we'll go in and check it out, man. We're here, eh? Yeah. Crazy roads yeah. drive through there. Coming from New Hampshire. Oh yeah. <laughs> Go through the mountains, man. I bet, man. Well, I know that's what when I moved here, coming through like most of Montana, I-90 from like Bozeman on is all like a scenic drive on the interstate. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know it's nice uh, driving through Montana, man. Crazy. Especially, you know, it's such a big state. Everybody thinks they have mountains everywhere. It's just like all on the western side. <laughs> the rest was flat. Yeah. <laughs> all the phone here. Yeah, call box. Yeah. The ash frame. I don't think I'll just know what's That's like 20 Oh, yeah. Cool. There's what's inside the little front entrance here. Dropbox window here. Criminal background information. Kinds of fun little things. Got a little brochure saying out there. <laughs> it's 
So I guess in here though, it's only the police departments that have like the prescription drop-offs, eh? Police only man here. Oh, uh, we're just in taking some pictures of the lobby here, letting the public know what's in here. <laughs> we're, just, we're just taking some pictures of the lobby. We just came out, we were outside, spoke to a couple officers out there. We're just citizens out taking some pictures, making sure our tax dollars are being used well. So Okay, you're not working for anybody? No, nah, we don't have any questions or anything or anything for you. You can relax. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tease me, bro. <coughs> Don't get tough and stuff. <laughs> Improve officer safety and provide a safe working environment for all employees. Provide support services to the criminal justice community. Improve departmental efficiency and accountability. Enforce criminal statutes by initiating investigations that are prescribed by legislative mandate. And improve departmental response capability for any emergency. Uh, so nowhere in their goals does it state anything about protecting anybody. It's just in their values and mission statements. <clears throat> so, I always find it funny when police officers say it's their job to protect people when it's really not. <laughs> right. To so, uh, collect evidence and arrest people. It's clearly the Supreme Court anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Have a nice day, sir. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I like that they have rocks here, a lot of garbage. Right. Okay. And shit to maintain. Yeah. Not <laughs> the wastewater. Yeah. Not everywhere, but. Well, that was good there, man. Yeah. Looking like a pass from the Washington State Patrol here in Spokane. Everybody's respecting their rights. If you ever want to talk, I'm talking, just tell me to shut up. Man. Oh. <laughs> I'll listen to you. <laughs> yeah, could you stand back there? I, really feel, I feel unsafe. I feel threatened. <laughs> I tell you, the only reason I stayed out of that parking lot was it didn't say Washington State Patrol employee vehicles only, it said employees only. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I pay attention to that. Yeah, if it would have said cars, I'd like, oh, I'll go in there, man. I know, it's like when he said that, I'm like, well, what do you think? I'm going to try to get inside the fence, man? <laughs> it's not the goal. That looks like an employee. Yeah. I know, I'm trying to work on that myself. When you zoom in, it's uh, oh, yeah, it's hard to keep it stable. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to Washington State Patrol on the RCW that says how state-owned vehicles are supposed to be marked. When it comes to law enforcement, on the RCW from the state, the Washington State Patrol is the only agency that has the ability to do unmarked cars other than, well, they're the only one that has the ability, unless you get special permission from your local county or city government if you're a law enforcement agency. But even then, see these guys have, yeah, and according to what I've read on the RCW, that's what they're supposed to have. And that's what my issue with the Spokane County Sheriff is, is why don't they have anything? Yeah, I don't care. Tactical response kind of vehicles. Back. I was gonna say he doesn't mind spending 500 bucks in gas every time he drives that out to the training center for something from downtown, but can't spend fifty dollars in stickers to put on the back of some unmarked car. Got a nice little well-groomed yard here. Go on. 